Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions presentation. I am Vinny, your host, also known as BNSF 6951 and also known as Cousin Vinny. If you guys like watching rail fanning videos or run off sessions on my layout that's sitting behind me, scratch bills or live streams, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And after you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell. This way you'll get notified every time I upload a video or a live stream. And I wouldn't mind you giving me a couple of those also. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's get on with the video. This Vinny Vid production video brought to you by Yankee Dabber. Don't forget, 5% discount code BNSS6951. Alright guys, before we get on with the regularly scheduled video uh, that I have planned for today, uh, I want to share some thoughts with you. My subscriber count has been going up and down like a roller coaster. It'll go up and it'll go down. It'll go back up and go down. Now I understand that YouTube has its robots that go around looking for channels that are not active and delete them. That's fine. But it doesn't happen as fast as it's happening to my channel. I will get six new subscribers today at six o'clock in the morning, and by six o'clock in the evening, those six are gone. I don't think YouTube is working that fast. So my thought is, these subscriptions that I am losing is people that are subscribing that have no content and expect me to subscribe back to them and when I don't subscribe back to them they unsubscribe to me if a person doesn't have any content on his channel and he's just looking to acquire subscribers that's not going to happen if you don't have any content on your channel then why would I want to subscribe to you if I have nothing to watch why would I want to subscribe to you doesn't make any sense so with that being said, if you have no content on your channel, don't subscribe to my channel. I just don't want to see you subscribe today and unsubscribe tomorrow. I don't want to see that. All right. Now, on the other hand, if you don't have any content on your channel and you subscribe to my channel because you want to watch what I am doing either in my videos, uh, my live streams, my scratch bills or whatever, that's fine. But other than that, don't expect to get a subscription back. So, with all that being said, let's get on with the video. Alright guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Built Structures video. This is going to be kit build number two. Number one is already out of my house and in Marty's house and he says he really loves it and I'm glad for that. But anyhow, this is going to be our next build. And it is for Mr. Eugene Address. And it is the Walters Cornerstone uh, Amtrak Station. Sorry, guys. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's get on down to the workbench and see what's going on. All right, guys. We're going to start this first uh, video with uh, acquainting myself with all the parts. Because there are a gazillion parts in this kit. Anyhow, uh, what I did was I marked them all. And all of these also are all marked. And all of these are marked as well. Now the reason why I'm marking them is for two reasons. Number one, I gotta take them off the sprues, clean up all the sprue mounting places, and uh, give this a paint job. <clears throat> and I also made sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I also made sure that I had all my parts for this lower section here. So I went ahead and did that. I took inventory and I do have all my parts to, to do the first floor of this uh, building. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give these a squirt of paint and uh, we'll start from there. So anyhow, stay tuned and I will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, what you can see now is I have painted all the lower uh, building walls and the doors. Um, I painted these in... Uh, uh, camel brown I guess you would say 
uh, and I went ahead and laid them all out in their positions that it calls for on the instructions, which is all of this down here. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting all the corner pieces together first and then see how everything else falls into place. Uh, the doors uh, I did with the uh, uh, metallic aluminum paint, uh, which I think is appropriate for doors. Um, I, that's my opinion, of course, and everybody's got opinions. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and start, like I said, with the corners and start putting them together and see how this is all going to pan out. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back shortly. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got all my pieces uh, glued together. Uh, next task is going to be gluing it to the foundation. Then I will install all the doors and uh, so on and so forth down here on the bottom floor. Uh, but before I put the doors in, i got to put the glazing in because there is another piece that goes on top of here. Anyhow, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do that, uh, starting in the corner here, and then I'm just going to work around uh, clockwise. No, this is clockwise, <laughs> counterclockwise. So we'll start with this corner, and we'll work around this way. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, but before I do that, I always tell you that glue and paint don't mix. I'm going to have to scrape uh, along the uh, boundaries where this has got to get glued. Uh, just to give it a little better adhesion. Anyhow, with that being said, we'll go ahead and start doing that. All right, guys, as we continue on with this, you can see that I have all the doors in place. And uh, there's a lot of pieces in this kit also. <laughs> but anyhow, um, by the way, I don't know if you can be able to see this. I'll try and get it in there, but you look inside of there I think you might be see right there it says track side I don't know if you guys can see that or not I can't tell if it's focused or not but anyhow it does say track side and so we're going to continue on by putting all of these guys on next and there's there are windows that go in here so there's glazing that goes behind there and I did the same thing I marked them all so I could take them off the sprue and paint them all and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, we'll go ahead and continue on with this and we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I am about ready to install the last three pieces of the uh, clear plastic for the windows. Uh, as you can see, I've got all my window framing up and installed. Uh, and I will be using the uh, clear plastic glue to install this stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with this. And this is getting kind of low. I'll pick up another one of these here pretty soon. But anyhow, uh, like I always do is I'll prime it so I don't get a big glob all at once. And then we'll just go ahead and put some dots on here. And I'm glad I'm using this uh, clear plastic glue because <laughs> these windows are really kind of tiny and I'm afraid that I would get glue all over them. So at least with this stuff, it'll dry clear, and I won't have to worry about that. All right. And we'll go ahead and put this on. We'll start here in this corner. And now to hold that in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of these clamps on here just till it dries up so there's no movement. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other two pieces, which is another long piece on this side and a short piece right here. So with that being said, we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright guys, I'd like to show you something on this uh, uh, Amtrak model kit that I'm doing for my buddy. Uh, it's hard for a guy like me to do a job uh, and get a 100% um, nice model when you get stuff like this. Now this is the roof section, okay? And look at this in the center right here. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the molding process. And then over here, got these two little nubs there. I, I don't know what they, what they are. Um, I'm not going to try and take those off. I'm just going to say there's some sort of an antenna. But this really bugs me right here. I mean, how am I supposed to get rid of that? 
other than getting some putty and doing this and that and sanding and all that kind of stuff. I tell you, man, Walters, I just don't like Walters kits. <laughs> they just, the fit and finish is terrible. Uh, some of the parts that they mold are not 100% accurate and all that kind of stuff. Anyhow, uh, enough of my rant. Let's get on with the rest of the build. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, guys, I think this is going to be the first build I ever did, start to finish in one video. This is really cool. Anyhow, we'll continue on this piece right here, which is the intermediate roof piece. Uh, and as you can see, I've got these, what they're calling lights, installed on both sides here. And they are glued in. Now, we are going to start putting the fascia parts on here. Now, <clears throat> I didn't... Uh, number these because Walters was kind enough to put the numbers on the back side of these and I don't know if you're going to see that. But anyhow, uh, it's saying to start according to my instructions is to start on this side right here uh, with number 46 and I have number 46 there and then number 47 is one of these guys and then number 48 is this guy and 49 would be here and then 50 here so it's saying to go in a counterclockwise uh, rotation so that's what we're going to do anyhow i'm going to go ahead and start doing this now also another thing to keep in mind <coughs> is that there's two mounting places here one would be for this and the second one the higher one would be for the roof and so i went ahead and painted the inside of this so when i put the roof on there you don't see the the uh, gray uh, plastic material Anyhow, uh, let's see how this is going to work out. So, we'll go ahead and start doing this.
All right, guys, as you can see, I have all my uh, fascia on here. I do need to do some touch up on it. Originally, I was going to paint these blue, uh, but I didn't like the way the blue covered the plastic. It had some dark black spots in it, so I decided to uh, copy the picture basically and do a brown top with a beige bottom. Uh, I'm going to leave this cross member in here just in case he wants to uh, hook up some lights in here. At least it's got some mounting points. Uh, this section will get glued down to the structure. The roof section will not. Now the only problem I'm going to have with that is it might be hard for him to get it out of the building. So I just might leave the whole thing loose and just sit it on top. I'm not quite sure yet. But anyhow, I did paint the roof as you can see and I need to put a, a flat finish on it. Um, <clears throat> I did use this Rust-Oleum product and it's called uh, Satin Espresso. <laughs> Makes you want to have a drink. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to let this dry up. Uh, basically, uh, I'm pretty much done with this build. Just got to do all the small little stuff and get it all touched up and stuff like that. And I'll call Eugene and tell him that it's ready and to send me the cashola. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, we'll hold on for a little while before I go ahead and show you that the roof fit, actually fits in there. Uh, and well, actually, we'll see if the roof fits in there. Hope, barring any kind of mistakes, and barring that everything fits the way it's supposed to, uh, the roof should just slide right in there. Anyhow, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, there you go. There's the fascia with the roof inserted into it. Uh, now the next thing for me to do is do all the touch up on here. I'm just going to leave it on my little stands that I made or use my little clamps to do that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and respray everything and uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty on this. So the next thing I need to do is uh, with the building itself, I, I need to touch up uh, some of the places where I accidentally got glue on there uh, and uh, straighten that out. Other than that, like I said, this is going to be the only build I ever do start to finish in one video. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys and girls are enjoying this so far, and we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye for now. Alright guys, this here is the completed Amtrak HO scale uh, station. I tell you right now that I am not very happy with this kit. Um, I had a lot of problems with the roof, even though each one of these is perfectly aligned to where it's supposed to be. Uh, I had a modified roof to make it fit. I'm talking about this part right here. So, with that being said, I have not touched anything up because I don't know if I am gonna, if I'm happy with the roof the way it is right now. I may have to do some more adjustments. Anyhow, this is track side. And like I said, I'm not really too happy with this kit, and I'll show you why another really big reason why I'm not happy with this kit. But anyhow, as we take a tour around the building, you'll see the doors and glazing are all in. And on this side here is probably what they call the passenger arriving section, whatever. And come around this side. And you can see that this side is completed also. Now I still, like I said, I still have to do some touch up on this, but I just want to get this video ready uh, because next Friday night, there probably will not be a live stream. I'm not 100% sure yet. <laughs> uh, only because I'm not going to be here, I'm going to be in California. Anyhow, I'm going to move this over to another uh, workbench and I'm going to show you the, the big reason why I'm not happy with this kit. All right, so stay tuned and we'll be back in a, in a second. All right, guys, I had this over on my other work area that I have uh, in my house. And now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the box does say HO. Am I seeing that correctly? All right, so here's the completed building. No other modifications done to it. Just the way it came out of the box is the way I put it together. So now, can you tell me why when I put this in front of it, it looks too big. Or the building looks too small. This building would, would be better built for an N scale rather than an HO scale. Now let me get, I'm gonna get something, I'll be right back. All right guys, now I don't have an HO passenger car. 
but I do have an HO box car, which I would assume would be pretty close to what it's supposed to be. And here you go. Now, does that look like an HO scale engine, uh, uh, station? It doesn't to me. So guys, what I'm telling you is if you expect to buy this and expect it to be an HO scale model, I really don't think it is, to be honest with you. Uh, the doors and windows might be HO, but I think the building itself is not. Uh, from here to the ground is 10 scale feet. And if my, my uh, passenger car, let me get this fixed up again. My passenger car almost hits that. And it's not even closer to the platform. So, you guys have to make the decision. If you think this is an HO kit, and maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way, I don't know. But to me, this is not an HO kit. Anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, input, sub, shares, and like are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BMSS 6951 and Cousin Vinny out.